Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. I guess they should be saying, sir, huh, sir, huh. whatever the fuck. All right, that's it. You saw the title. You saw the fucking thumbnail. We're going to do this. I try to avoid it, but the comments online, the rhetoric that I see repeated, not necessarily just on my videos, but just online in general, on Reddit, on Twitter, on Facebook, the comments are there. The controversy surrounding House of the Dragon is there. So in this video, I'm going to do my best to address all those issues and, and lend like, at least I think, because this is all my opinion, I'm going to lend like a rational uh, point of view to all of this shit. Um, obviously, if you enjoy this video, slap a like on it. If you don't agree with any of my thoughts, well, then leave me a comment down below. I'll read it, and I'll respond. Lonat! Alright, now, jumping right into things. Uh, aside from slapping a like on it, the like goal is gonna be tree. Um, could you please do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe, and then this is the most important part. If you've subscribed and you've already slapped the like because you enjoy this, go ahead and turn your notifications all the way on. So that way, you'll get an alert every single time I drop a video throughout the wait for House of the Dragon Season 1. It's less than a year coming up, or as it's known on this channel, the long night. Alright, so, um, you know, I think it's pretty obvious. The Race of Rhaenyra. Laner, uh, Corlys Velaryon, a lot of the other actors have been cast by black or multiracial actors. That obviously stirs controversy because the biggest thing to, to know about, you know, the source material is that, although never given like a full-on description describing exactly what he looks like, it's assumed they're white. There are people, uh, that are like, sort of like... I don't, I don't know why they decided to do this, but they tried to make it seem as though it's canon that the Valerians are black, and, like, here's why, and they give these examples, and I'm just saying, like, no, it's not there. The Valerians sort of, like, became friends with the Targaryens, to put it, like, in the most simplest way, because they looked like them. The Targaryens are super pale, they're white, they're meant to look like British royalty, they're fucking white, right? So they chose the Valerians uh, to... to you know, they're obviously, the Valerians are obviously uh, Valyrian ancestry, but they chose them because they look like them. So there are people that are trying to argue that it's, you know, it's, it's, it's canon, and here's why, and I think that, you know, that's just not true. I think, obviously, the reason why they chose to make Coralus black, and the reason why the Valerians are going to be multiracial and black, is because it's a new day and age. Obviously, there's been a long history of not casting black actors into major roles, so WB is fucking making up for that. And if you try to say it any other way, well then, you're bullshitting yourself. That's, that's, in my opinion, that's fucking stupid. Don't, don't try to add stuff that's not there. Like, George has, yes, thought of making the Targaryens black before, but then he, he didn't. He didn't. He thought they'd be confused with Dark Elves. So he didn't fucking make any of the major characters in his book. Well, he did, but not, not that are of Valyrian ancestry. So trying to look in the source material to make it seem like, oh, they're keeping with canon, that's not true. The reason why they're doing it is to... It's honestly, it's got good means behind it. It's, you know, you take it as you will. I always have the same approach towards these things, which is just wait and see. And I'll get into that in a second. Um, but, you know, it just, it's, it's silly to think it's any other thing other than they're trying to appease more people. They're trying to appeal to a brighter, uh, a wider market. Um, and there, there are some people that were like commenting. I, I've made a few videos talking about this before. And I've seen people say like, you know, technically, if they want to make uh Black people have a more prominent role, make them traitors, pirates, and merchants, and all that shit, because that's how George wrote them in his stories. Well, you could you could make any kind of point you want to. I've always made the point that if you want to make a black character prominent, it seems silly to turn a white character black, because that's like the same thing as whitewashing, it's blackwashing or whatever, that just seems silly. What you do is you make an entirely new character, and give them aspects of already pre-existing characters, and then get rid of those characters. So what you, what that does is, that makes up a, a new backstory, so that, you know, book fans won't get pissed off, and also it keeps people who are the average show watcher that have learned to look... Uh, look up more info or book readers that know this story in and out like myself we don't know what to look forward to we're like what's going to happen next in the story we're always going to be kept on our toes because there's this new character in the mix that's doing certain things but it's all mixed and intertwined with other characters roles uh, but really all of that aside it doesn't fucking matter because we're less than a year away and let's wait and see game of thrones and hbo they they made the greatest show of all time i'm pretty sure i tr they're are, are, are my faith 
I know is at least in good hands in HBO and Game of Thrones. I'm pretty sure Ryan Condon, Miguel Sapochnik, and Ryan, uh, <clears throat> sorry, and George R. R. Martin, they're not fucking morons, so they're not going to give us a shitty story, right? So it's going to be good. I think we also just wait and see. And if it's bad, well, then, you know, it'll be known, and I'm sure everybody's going to talk about it. Uh, the next thing, moving on, I think I spent way too much fucking time talking about that. Uh, 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 I guess I guess I should address this. Um, one of the things that you could before we move on uh one of the things that you could argue is that making uh Corliss Valerian black uh his son and daughter with Rainies would then be mixed race and it looks like you know they've got John McMillian is playing Lane or it looks like they're gonna have mixed race actors or people who look like myself playing their kids well that whole dynamic of Rainier's children with Lane or not actually being hers and they're being like part of how strong and they're strong bastards that kind of that plot sort of works because obviously Lane or being uh, you know, half black, his children would look black. And it looks like the actors that are playing the Targaryen youth are going to be played by white actors. So that dynamic of not knowing if Rhaenyra's children with Lainor uh, are legitimate is still there. And it actually makes kind of more sense because it's more of a visual thing. Like if the audience is looking at Rhaenyra's children that she supposedly had with Lainor and they're like, those kids look white. Obviously someone cheated on something, then that strong bastard dynamic is still there. But then you could argue it from the other side. My son is 75% white and he could obviously pass as a full white person. So you could argue that same point that no, maybe they are Lainor's children because he's half black, but he's also half white. So his kids would be 75% white. So that dynamic in the book is a mystery. You don't know if they're strong bastards bastards it's just said that they have dark hair they don't have typical valyrian features so that aspect of it it's it's gonna work out let's just wait and see but moving on here the next thing that i see uh repeated online and this is because one of the actresses uh olivia cook came out and said like the new show isn't gonna have like the the ridiculous violence towards women and all that stuff it is is like the nudity the violence towards women uh is it gonna be nursed or or nerfed is it gonna be disney fied my answer to that is no if they're following <laughs> this story uh, to a T, which it seems as though they are, they're not gonna nerf anything. This is this is Game of Thrones. This is HBO. HBO HBO is known for showing gratuitous violence, and that's one of the things that's prevalent throughout Martin's stories is that he doesn't filter himself. So maybe the uh, the excessive amounts of titties and the excessive amounts of like pubic mounds that we saw in seasons one and two of Game of Thrones won't be prevalent in House of the Dragon because they don't necessarily have to do that to get the name out. Like you know, that's actually how I heard of. Game of Thrones was one of my buddies was like, bro, even if you don't like, you know, long drawn out dialogue, this show has fucking battle scenes, titties, every fucking other scene, and dragons. So you can, you know, sort of make your way through it. That's how I heard about it. I'm sure that's how a lot of people heard about the show. So they won't have to do that for House of the Dragon. Game of Thrones is the greatest series of all time, so having, like, a bunch of excess nudity uh, may not necessarily be a thing. Although, I hope it is. Obviously, I, I, I want to see TDT as much as possible. Um, but, yeah, I just... I just this, this type of content is clearly made for adults. It's not like Disney with Star Wars or Marvel. Well, that's made for adults and children, so they sort of have to appease all audiences by making it just completely nerfed. This show is not like that. It's meant for adults. It's like when Marvel does Deadpool or something and they make it rated R. That same idea. I, don't, I think that worry, that amount of worrisome and, and that sort of rhetoric that I see repeated online should be like kind of null because just, just don't worry. Um, and then the last thing, uh, we're approaching that like cutoff point here in this video is that I've seen recently, I discovered a whole genre of, uh, of, uh, YouTubers recently that, you know, like in my absence of obviously making videos, I don't get on YouTube as often. And I didn't know this was like a thing. I think Game of Thrones season eight, uh, really is what sort of made that genre of YouTube really popular, but there's just, like, people, they're, like, alt-nerds or some shit that all they do is just, just bash everything. They, they, they pretend they're taking a surgeon scalpel and just breaking shit apart and, like, look, this is why, and then give these fucking examples, and they'll show clips from TV shows and movies, and they're like, look, here's why, isn't that funny? Ha ha ha, this is why they're doing this to that, and I'm like, it just, it's, it's, it's kind of like what I used to do uh, with Joe Rogan, which is hate watch. I didn't know that was a fucking thing, but these people repeat, uh, repeat the same thing uh, 
heavily in videos and shit, and that's that they their hate or their love or whatever they want to fucking call it for something, mainly for Game of Thrones, is what got five prequel series involved. Uh, is what got five prequel series canceled. Their their amount of online support and everything like. Got reached out to the heads at HBO Marketing and were like, "Hey, man, we better listen to these fucking people. They're they're right. They've got a point. You know, they 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 think that everything's becoming too feminized or whatever the fuck it is. We should listen to them and we should cancel all these prequel things." And I just want to say, look, if any of if any of those people that think that are watching this video, sit the fuck down. You didn't cancel five Game of Thrones prequels. Get the fuck out of here. In development means just that. They're in development, meaning they can drop out at any fucking time. If someone comes in from the HBO higher-ups and they're like, hey, I don't like what I'm seeing here, I'm going to pull the plug. That's what in development means. It's actually called development hell. Shows can be stuck there for fucking years at a time and then have the rug pulled out from under them. Or shows can be like greenlit super fast and then they have a pilot and then someone watches that pilot and they're like, man, fuck that. We ain't doing that shit. That's what happened to some of the other Game of Thrones prequels. So I don't really have anything too much else to say about that. I just think it's ridiculous that people think their hate... Uh, they're, they're, okay, their love and their passion of something that makes them just hate watch is what got something, uh, with Game of Thrones canceled. It's just not true. It's not true. It's development hell. <laughs> well, <laughs> we got through that one. I knew this was going to, uh, this video is probably going to piss a bunch of people off, but it's cool. Let's talk it out down below in the comment section. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Like goal for this video was tree. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. Super special shout out to every single member of my Patreon family over on patreon.com slash your hunts reviews. Uh, I want to thank you all again so, so much for watching. My name is Mark and this has been Sir Hunts. Long night reviews.